scientists have now unveiled the world's first living robots last year and they can reproduce now. Oh my god, that seems so scary. Are they fucking? They are... That's a just go ahead and imagine it for another second before I say no. No. Oh. How do they reproduce? So what they do is uh, they cluster free-floating stem cells together. Uh, and, and just for context, these bots... Uh, so it's like biotechnology? Yeah, the, these things that were kind of unveiled... That's even scary. They, they're considered living machines, not in that they are like uh, actual like metal robots that we normally understand. They are actual like stem cells from frogs. They're, they're bundles of stem cells from African clawed frogs, aka Xenopus lavis or whatever, which is why they're called Xenobots. And then they're programmed to accomplish specific tasks, like via, again, I'm no scientist, but like fucking electricity and different things mm -hmm. that they actually do in order to actually, um, in I guess, control the will of these stem cells. Wow. Wow. Haven't they seen Planet of the Apes? Oh, this is crazy. Or iRobot? Or I. They've been trying to warn us. This is some crazy shit. But it these scientists want to play with fire. Fucking yeah. fuck scientists. And now, <laughs> and they're like, "Don't worry, don't worry. It's in a secure lab. It's not. Nothing's gonna happen. Yeah, like COVID." So, <laughs> for real, dude. Since, since the original study, the team's been working to harness the power of these tiny robots named Xenobots after the clawed frogs genus Xenopus. And in a new development, the team announced that Xenobots can now reproduce in a way that is completely different from any plant or animal known to science by scooping up free-floating cells and assembling them into new clusters. So what they pretty much do is like these little things are on fucking petri dishes and stuff. Yeah. And there's a bunch of other stem cells that are just there, yeah. and then these xenobots will just go around and start like like Pac-Man, just kind of scooping and picking up the other things, and then making circles around them to cluster them together. And then when other xenobots are aware, almost like a hive mentality of like a culture of them, they begin assisting and also taking other like stem Whoa. cells, Whoa. clustering together, and then over a period of time, using the clustering, uh, like just compact in and then also interjecting some sort of other life juice. That's Life like juice. Venom, dude. They fucking become No, alive. Venom is the black, black squeak, 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 and it goes into yeah. you and then now you're Venom, right? Yeah, but the yeah, thing can leave like you that. and then fucking go into you and you're Venom. That you're sounds like, like some Wally shit. God damn. It says, uh, frogs have a way of reproducing that they normally use, but when you liberate the cells from the rest of the embryo and you give them a chance to figure out how to be in a new environment, not only do they figure out a new way to move, but they also figure out apparently a new way to reproduce. Who That's wants insane. to see a little video? I do. Oh, I want to see a video. So is it, are, are we going to look at a little frog? We are not looking at a frog. We are looking at the stem cells that have been clustered together in order to create the xenobots. Mm. And now the xenobots are doing their own clustering. I hope after this they fucking exploded that shit and, and completely said, destroyed it, yeah. They lab on fire, destroy all evidence. Wow. So you see Whoa. how they just fucking go in circles and they start scooping? Are they real robots or are they like biotech like like shit? It's like a Roomba. It's, oh. like, it's like corn nuts. But it's biotech? Inspirational music, so good. Inspirational royalty free tracks, the best. <laughs> All right? That's insane. So they're what are they doing this shit at Wuhan? <laughs> <laughs> to make COVID better? <laughs> So to create the Xenobots in the first place, the team used a supercomputer to create a blueprint for a new life form. That already sounds fucking nuts to me, by the nah, way. Nah, I'm good. With the design in hand, they collected stem cells from the frog's embryos and incubated them before reconfiguring them Frankenstein style using tiny tweezers and an electrode into the shape designed by the supercomputer. The Xenobots could then be programmed to complete certain tasks and they've grown more complex since then. In about five days, Xenobots can form sp uh, spheres of around 3,000 cells when they cluster. And since they're able to work together, the Robo Blob can move around and push single cells together to form new Xenobots. Mm. It's a process called kinematic self-replication, a process only observed in molecules and not living things. One Xenobot parent can begin a pile, and then by chance, a second parent can push more cells into that pile, and so on, generating the child, so to speak. God damn. But there's a limit 
to how many baby bots can be created. It turns out that these xenobots will replicate once, one generation, they'll make the children, but the children are too small and weak to make grandchildren, so it can't continue in the cycle. So it's like a donkey. Is that how it works? Or the mule. Or a mule. Oh, or yeah, a yeah. liker. Yeah. <laughs> they're, I think their children are steriles. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. Until they, until there's a big kid, and another big kid, Ooh. and then they figure it out. And then they figure it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like the survival of the fittest, right? Evolution. So it says, though, th though this research is in its infant phases, the team has high hopes for the Xenobots. With further development, they could be used in medicine, such as to help deliver drugs within the body or to clean up environmental contaminants. Um, pretty much anything that you can throw a fucking organism into. That's what I'm saying. So like a, it's an it's a organic wall -E, dude. We so made all this what? human trash. Mm -hmm. Like, I bet you one day they're going to invent something that eats in, uh, plastic. They're going to find something yeah. that comes and digest plastic and then they're gonna release it. But imagine that being like super sized in the ocean. Yeah. It would just look like a giant fucking brain blog slug. And it would just be going around moseying its way and just eating stuff. And then like if you're, like we're gonna just have like bio computer tech fucking live, but really weird, soft, squishy, weird alien fish. Like a big jellyfish? Yeah. You ever seen um Starship Troopers? Yeah. Remember mm -hmm. the fucking brain alien thing? I imagine that giant blob just sucking out brains. Some say we are genetic experiments from aliens. I think we are, dude. We're weird. So that's why it could happen. My parents are aliens? All of us! Are. Illegal aliens. Illegal aliens. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fine, mine are too. <laughs> refugees, man. I mean, I, I, I personally think that uh, I, these stuff, these things can't be stopped. Like it's like you watch the fucking uh, iRobots and the different mm -hmm. movies that talk about Skynet. Obviously, technology is gonna like overtake us. Blah blah. It's gonna happen anyway. It's the next progression. It's okay. It's evolution. We're gonna right. die anyway. We're all gonna die. Anyway. After after you reading the article and explaining a little bit, I still don't know what half that shit means. But it does make me feel a little bit safer. Yeah. What that part are you too dumb to understand? You know, just the uh, everything. No, but the, the <laughs> fact that you're gonna that you're gonna use this for medicine and, and all that type of stuff. That's I'm like, okay, say. cool. And that's how it starts, right? That's yeah. how it always starts. Anybody watch the new uh, Arcane like show? Arcane on Netflix. I heard it's very uh, good. I haven't it's really gone fucking. Into it. What's that about? Uh, without any spoilers, because based off of League of Legends champions and stuff like that, let's just say the whole point why I'm even bringing it up. It's like a uh, weapon tech. When you first like develop the tech, it's like to to do good or stuff. Good, yeah. yeah. It's like to protect this or to make this uh, work chain faster or like to like save innocent civilians from having to do this labor until the but president then, of Vi Pfizer gets a hold of it. Exactly, and then and then something <laughs> becomes weaponized, right? So like it, it's. I feel like we're at this weird point where um, it's not it's not so like physical realm 3D inventions yeah. that we're making. We're not reinventing the wheel or creating like a, a steam engine or whatever. Yeah. We're like now into this new space of like biotech and, yeah. and, and other things that we can't even fucking fathom in our minds. But the second we weaponize shit like that, yeah. dangerous. Because like COVID. Yeah. Like COVID. The way to understand something like this is, uh, you know our insulin, it's made by bacteria. Yeah. So they program the bacteria to only produce insulin. So it's almost like, you know, like when you have a tumor, it's an uncontrolled growth, right? It's like your DNA or your RNA, whatever. There's like a glitch in the system. So instead of constantly repeating a sequence and creating the different proteins your body needs, it's just, I'm only making this protein. So now you have this uncontrolled growth that turns into a tumor. It's kind of that concept in a bacteria and it's only making insulin. And that's how and we, we harvest that. And we harvest that insulin for our program medicine. program a bacteria? Through the RNA, movies, dude, you get some of those. Through things. the RNA, you program it, and then because uh, everything that is that you see, like your eye color, fucking hair color, whatever, it's all a genetic code. Yeah. So if you figure out the code, then you can make it produce what you want it to produce. Yeah, and that's how insulin's made, and so I'm sure they're adjusting whatever the code they need to get this uh, robot to do only one function mm -hmm. until the president of Pfizer gets a hold of it, and he's gonna be doing some crazy. Damn Pfizer. <laughs> I feel I feel like there's like a lot of really I'm a Moderna guy. good applications for this technology, <laughs> um, but I think something interesting is that like when the scientists who make this stuff, do you think they think about like all the really bad outcomes that could happen? Fuck they no! They think about the Nobel Prize they're about to win. Because yeah. like because I know that um in the most recent um, fucking I geeks, dude, game, where they uh, interviewed the guy who created deepfakes or something. And then they're saying like, yeah, this is a really cool technology, but now I feel that's just being used to do porn. <laughs> <laughs> exclusively, almost exclusively. These are gonna make flashlights only. 
the best rubber for yeah, fucking the flashlights. Best rubber. <laughs> I think I AI. Are so so smart. Yeah, dude. I feel like these dudes are so smart. They they like always underestimate how fucking dumb the rest yeah. of the world is. Yeah. Yeah. So then when it gets used for other shit, they're like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> I gave you a gift to cure cancer and you guys are just jacking off all day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> With deep fakes, fuck. Know, right? <laughs>